Hindsight 2024, a look back at the success in trucking engagement. Site 2024, with Jason Williams, the president and CEO of Expediter Services. We talked with Jason shortly after the conclusion of Site 2024, which was held at the Lander Center just outside of Memphis in South Haven, Mississippi. I thought it was a great event. It's uh, our people are getting better and better at pulling it all together. It, uh, the ladies who worked on this and the presentation that's put forward, I was proud of the company. I really was. I was proud of the face they put on the company, uh, proud of the vendors that showed up. Uh, then you turn around, you look at the people who actually showed up to participate and uh, a diverse group. You know, I had someone, uh, actually one of our owners was here, one of our investors, uh, board of directors was here. He's an attorney. He's actually our general counsel, but he doesn't touch the day-to-day -day business. So he was very impressed with the community that showed up across the board, which lets you know you're reaching people. You're not isolating, you're not reaching some and not others, that your voice is being heard and opportunities being recognized literally by every group in the nation and that you're making an impact. You know, what we, we do is pretty complicated and sometimes it's hard to explain it on a phone call or even when people come into the office. But when they walk into the room and we have our vendors surrounding the room, so we have a TA here, you know, we have a, a Ford Air, a FedEx, we have Panther here, and we have multiple, you know, two different dealerships, Dobbs and Stoops, and they start looking at that this is the community, that this is real, it's not just brands stuck on a website somewhere, that there are people behind that. We had the ownership of some of those vendors here. We certainly had the executives from some of those uh, vendors here. And so for someone just getting started to say, hold on, I can sit down and talk with the decision makers at these billion dollar companies because ES has set the table. And again, we're not, we don't take credit for what people's success is. We do take credit for giving them the opportunity to be successful. So we can't do the work. Uh, it's, it's their character, it's their grit, their determination. But what we have worked hard for is to give them opportunity. And when they come here, I think they can really put it all together and say, hold on, this is, this is real. This community is real. It's not, again, just names and brands that somebody's thrown together on a sales brochure, that they're people and there's energy and there's activity, there's investments made, there's decisions being made, there's plans being implemented, all to help me or people like me succeed. And when it comes together, their energy goes up, their excitement goes up, they become hopeful that they can actually do this. That's what this event is really intended to do, is let people say, this is, let them feel it, this is real. This is not a sales job we're putting on you. This is a real opportunity and we really are here and our whole system is built to make sure you succeed. It is, and sometimes when we talk about the, the soft things, Greg, because it is soft, it's where we have to let people experience it because anybody can speak to it, but we have to let people come in and just get to know us, uh, recognize we're people, uh, we are, our intent is real, we're being honest when we say that they'll never stand alone. So what really holds it all together, while you have to have a truck, you have to be able to pull freight, what really holds it together is that the person in the business or in the truck is being taken care of. And so when you pull in, the mental health support that we bring in. When you pull, pull in the fact that we now have, you know, uh, true medical uh, offerings to them that lets them be seen by a doctor in all 48 states. Uh, you know, they had a testimony today that a guy here showed up and he wanted to try it and he put, you know, our insurance agent to the test and he said, hey, I have a prescription, I'm gonna sign up and I'm gonna go buy my prescription. He went from a $94 prescription to $7. And, you know, he got up this morning and just shared his own testimony. So I'm sure not all of them are that dramatic on a prescription, but what is real is the fact that he's not from this area. He was able to have his prescription called in. He was able to get it heavily discounted. And so he came in this morning with almost extra hundred dollars in his pocket, simply because he was part of the community and was able to go buy underneath that offering. So the soft things, the big things are easy to market, the soft things are what make it real. Without the soft things, we're just selling a truck, we're just financing. But it's the soft things that actually make the person that we're doing business with recognize that we're serving you as a person. We're not just trying to throw something at you. There was a couple that was, uh, they already own a fleet. They own a fleet of five trucks. They're already with one of the motor carriers. And you know, right at the end of the day today, it's, you know, they've been here now a day and a half, and they say it just clicked 
that you really, you're not selling a truck, you're not a truck financer, you're not trying to generate freight, that you really can help us not just grow our existing fleet, not just be profitable in the trucks we have, but from soup to nuts, you can, you can truly help us do what we want to do. And at the end of the day, it clicked with the lady, with the, uh, the wife that was, you know, came with her husband. And so she was excited just to all the, her brain got to run about all the ways that she could gain efficiencies in paperwork, uh, accounting support, maybe taxes, again, the mental health side, being able to help her drivers in the trucks, all the things that a business owner has to do in trucking to run an efficient, stable business, uh, it's, it came together for her. So again, but you're talking about after seven eight hours with us so that's what this event again is we want you very quickly to see who we are not to take weeks and months to to know it we'll be honest i'm sure some people will even say yeah you know what you know this is not really for me and we want them to know that as well we don't want them wasting their time and something that's not going to work but more often than not if given the opportunity we can find a way to help serve somebody to improve what they're doing honestly it's always rewarding when you when you hope that you've developed something uh, a certain way. You hope that you are who you say you are and to have complete strangers spend a day with you and come out and everybody knows truckers are honest. I mean, they'll be brutally honest. And so to have someone who's betting their livelihood, who took time out of their business to come spend a day or two with you, to stop and say, here's who I understand you are or your company is or what y'all are trying to be. And they tell you the things that you hope you are then say, okay, we're doing something right. These people have walked away with the right intent. We've uh, conveyed it correctly to them. And we've just been who we are. And while we're not perfect, while there's things we need to improve on, we don't have skeletons falling out of the closet. We're not trying to you know, deceive or undermine people. It's uh, to have that, them walk away with that idea is very gratifying. You know, it is uh, humbling to know where we started and where we've, you know, the ground we've gained. But I guess uh, not really, maybe at the end of a career, you know, you look back and you get to kind of size it all up. And I know at times people say, well, I wish I'd have stopped and enjoyed it more, but that's normally at the end of something. So, uh, you know, I don't know if it's meant to be that way because I can tell you what we'll leave this with is the things we need to get better at. What we'll leave with is questions that were asked that we didn't have an answer for or people who had a need and we couldn't meet it. So we'll take that away for ourselves and say, okay, we should have been able to answer that question or we should have been able to meet that need or the industry's changing. How are we gonna address these issues? You know, used truck sales are bad. How are we gonna put wholesale buyers together to come in and help our people out? So I think what's gotten here, gotten us here, Greg, is that uh, you're humbled, you're thankful for what you have, but you're always looking forward and saying, but man, we've got a lot of ground to make up. We've got a lot of ground to take here. And, uh, and it's not about the money, it is about just getting better. It's the sheer desire to want to be able to do what's in front of you and to help people do what they need. And the industry moves so fast. If you take too much time to stop and think about where you are, it's past. And so you're constantly having to plan out six months, 12 months, 18 months in advance, or you're behind the, the curve already. So. Yeah, it's, it's humbling to see the brand show up, the people show up and actually want to hear what you have to say and want to be a part of what you're doing. That is extremely humbling and, uh, and I'm thankful for that. I hope we never get arrogant and prideful where we think that this is our community, where we have accomplished something. Uh, we work with these people, we service everybody, the vendors, the motor carriers, the truck owners, the fleet owners, drivers. Uh, we're here to service those people. So I hope we never take an inverted view of that. Uh, but at the same time, I hope we never stop looking to say, boy, we're, we're proud of who we are, but man, we've got a lot of ground to gain. We, there's lots of things we can do better. And I hope we continue to make those investments in people, IT, resources, relationships, to just improve it year over year. Thanks for joining us for Hindsight 2024, a look back at the success in trucking engagement, Site 2024. Now, are you looking to improve your success at trucking, the ES community has the programs, support, and advantages that you need to build and grow your own trucking business. If you'd like to learn more about what ES can do for you and how you can become another success story in the ES community, visit successintrucking.com.